at the dawn of the Indian independence, when the nation stood up to the final call of freedom in the midst of a turmoiling world. One man dreamt to create a reformed, capable, self-aware India after independence. Mahamana Madan Mohan Malviyaji, an Indian educationist, established a unique university to create a whole new generation of educators, artists, scientists, doctors, social workers and civil servants uninfected of intruders' philosophy. Varanasi has been a center for knowledge practices for millenniums. In the year 1916, Banaras Hindu University was established acquiring over 1,300 acres of land with the support of numerous well-wishers from all over India and abroad, along with the king and the commoners of the city. Over time, the university grew up to be India's one of the most prime educational organization, regularly conducting education and research in hundreds of subjects and homing more than 40,000 students, researchers and educators at Varanasi campus itself. The growing number of students reaching out to this university every year created a notion amongst the highest officials to expand the facility in early 70s. As there was not much land left around the main campus for further expansion, a new piece of land has been acquired by Banaras Hindu University on lease in perpetuity from Bharat Mandal Trust in April 1979 with an area of about 2,700 acres at Barkacha village, situated about 8 kilometers southwest of Mirzapur town on Roberts Ganj Highway, which is now known as the Rajiv Gandhi South Campus of Banaras Hindu University. Typically surrounded by a complex, discontinuous chain of mountain ridges, highlands and plateau escarpments in west-central India, the new campus area suffered various other challenges like poor road connectivity, irregular electricity supply and even water scarcity. For these and some other reasons, the development work of this campus couldn't take off properly in its early days. So far, with the continuous effort by institute and the government, a humongous work of development has either already been done or is meticulously in process. The campus now offers graduation, master's and research opportunity in about 18 prominent subjects. To ensure highest quality education and research, all the faculties and departments regularly conduct national and international seminars, faculty development programs and workshops all the year round. Offerings include technical courses like computer application, remote sensing and GSI, medical lab technology and many more. There are some unique creative courses like modern office management and fashion design, textile designing and journalism and mass communication. Along with courses like education and psychology, there is also a range of management and commerce related subjects like insurance management, food processing management, retail and logistics management, hospitality and tourism management, office management and business communication, tourism and travel management, finance and marketing. To reconcile with the nature and support the farmers, there are some dedicated courses like agribusiness, agroforestry, plant biotechnology, environmental science and technology, and soil and water conservation. The campus also hosts Deen Dayal Upadhyay Kaushal Kendra, which offers bachelor's and master's vocational courses to transform the youth into an economically independent and globally relevant workforce. The newly made academic block contains several well-accommodating lecture theatres and laboratories. A central library and computer lab has also been facilitated alongside of departmental libraries and labs to make sure the availability of required facilities. 
to provide world-class medical services to the animal and livestock for the people of Vindhyachal region and also conduct education and research in the relevant fields. The Faculty of Veterinary and Animal Sciences has been set up in the year 2016. Headed by Professor Rama Devi Nimanapalli, the facility stood first in all over Uttar Pradesh and third in India. A total number of 2,000 residential students, among whom there are about 700 girls and 1,300 boys, are living in this beautiful campus at fully facilitated hostels, dedicatedly designed for students' accessibility, comfort and safety. There are total eight hostels for the students, among which three are for girls, Vindhya Vasini, Nilgiri, Himadri, and five hostels are for boys, which are Kalash, Aravali, Shivalik, Vindhyachal, and Himgiri. Each hostel contains shared rooms, dormitories, dedicated mess service, and well-emulated common rooms for fun and activity. An adequate number of canteens, snack stalls, general stores, stationery and bookstore, medicine store has been developed to fulfill the basic needs of the residents. This huge campus contains magnificent sports compound and well-equipped gym facilities, not only for the students, but the entire residents take part in the common activities together. Several prime banks are operating their branches inside the campus with ATM and all other banking facilities. Team of medical and security personnel are working day and night in the case of emergency response. A dedicated hospital is also in service to ensure the physical health of the students. Addressing the issue of electricity supply, a great improvement has already been made by the respective government department. But the campus is also setting up huge solar electricity production facility to ensure uninterrupted supply. The water scarcity, which had been one of the biggest problems delaying the progress of this campus, has been dealt well by developing a sophisticated water works through check dams which has led to the increase in the water level of the place. And now the water needs of the campus are fulfilled with ease even during the summers. It is now securing the continuous water supply, not only for the domestic consumption but also for the use in agriculture and animal farms. There are also well-established residential compound for the academic and non-academic members of the staff and their families. A branch of Central Hindu School has also been established for all-round development of the children residing in the campus and around. Professor Rama Devi Nimanapalli, who is also the professor in charge of the RGSC BHU, proudly shares. We do get very good students and from all over India, this is like a mini India, we represent it in, um, in this campus. So we do have like any other campus, so like you know for development, but we are developing campus, like you know nice hostels are there for us because it is a residential and we have a good canteen facility and uh, well, like you know ho hostels may be all the facilities that are present in any good universities we have it, we have a good library facility for students, computer labs are present. So. Students are happy here. The Honorable Vice-Chancellor of BHU also invites educators and learners across the globe to this vibrant green campus, as he stated. The biggest message is that it is a very eco-friendly campus. You will get a lot of oxygen. You will live in a very good atmosphere. You will really enjoy your life to the fullest. With all these efforts and more to come in upcoming days, the Rajiv Gandhi South Campus is growing up to be a prime center for finest quality higher education, fulfilling the dream of thousands of students, not only from the Vindhyachal region, but also from all over India.